it's time to start the interior build series. Thanks for joining me today to start talking about the build out of the interior part of my DIY lightweight truck camper. As I discussed in my exterior build series, I built the shell part of this truck camper topper in the summer of 2023, but I ran out of time to finish out the interior of the build. And so now I'm going to start finishing out the interior. As you can see, there's not a whole lot in here currently, but the first part of this build project that I'm gonna be working on is some foam furniture. So in this corner here, I have the first part of the foam furniture. It's part of the bench system. My cooler is gonna go here. This is gonna be a bench. We're gonna make a little lid for it so it opens up and I can store things inside of it and then also sit on top of this and have a nice spot to sit. Obviously with the roof down, there's not a lot of space to sit. So this is really gonna be most beneficial when the roof is up but I can get in here and access everything and it'll be great storage. So for today's video, I really wanna talk about working with foam and how this foam furniture is going. All right, I'm back inside where it's a little bit warmer so we can talk a little bit more about this interior build project. So like I mentioned, I did the exterior build in 2023 and before I hit the road, I really had just put a really basic roughed out bench in there, done some plastic containers to put underneath the bench and had hit the road. So it was really roughed out and simple. And this year I wanna start making it a little bit, I don't know, more livable inside, get countertops, get some bench seating, things like that. So I started this build with a foam furniture build. Now there's a lot of different ways to do furniture inside of vans and truck campers and things like that. But again, my goal with this Toyota Tacoma truck camper topper build is to keep it as lightweight as possible. So I was really excited about the chance to work with foam and try building some foam furniture. There's a lot of different YouTube videos about building with foam. And so I watched several of them and got started. I'd had some one inch foam left over from my exterior build, but I also did go ahead and buy a brand new sheet of four by eight one inch foam to start working with as well so that I had nice big pieces. Then I went into the truck camper and started trying to lay out the design. So I made myself a little cardboard cutout um, as an example of what the floor space would be so I could play around with how things fit in there. And then I measured kind of where the edges of where I wanted the first piece to go. So I'm kind of, I'm, so I'm building a modular system where each piece can kind of come out individually. Again, this is just to make it easy for me to get things in and out if I ever want to use the back of the truck for something else besides camping in. Um, and so I'm starting with the back left corner, if you look at the truck camper, and I'm working on a bench seat for that area. So this theoretically is a pretty simple build in that corner. I really just wanted to make a rectangular bench, and I'm going to make a lid on it that hinges up so I can reach inside and get storage in here. Now, what makes it a little bit more challenging is that the truck bed does have a lot of different things to build around. So there's a wheel well there, right? So I needed to go around that. And then there's also the mounting clamps that I have that are mounting the truck camper topper onto my truck. There's a hook there also that you can use for tie down straps that the truck comes with. And then there's a little bit of a protrusion on the bed rail against the back of the truck bed or around the back window. And I had made that a little bit further out by putting a piece of wood there that puts tension to prevent the sides from kind of wrapping around it in. So I had all of that to work around. But I started by just building the basic rectangular structure. So I had seen on YouTube that one of the easiest ways to work with foam was to get a hot knife and to essentially just like melt the foam. So I went ahead to do that. When I had done the exterior build, I had used the table saw a little bit to cut the foam and it had made a lot of foam dust. And that foam dust is really irritating to skin, to your lungs. It's just not a really good thing to have floating around in the air. So the foam knife seemed good and like something that would keep that to a minimum. So I got that hot knife, just picked up a relatively cheap one at Menards and started cutting. It worked fairly well. I didn't love it though. So it kind of like makes this like ooey gooey cut. Um, and then it was really hard for me to get it really nice and even. And I think maybe I got too thick of a hot knife. Like maybe you need a wire hot knife to get a more like small straight cut. So hot knife worked. I don't know if it's the best way to cut foam, but it works. So I went and started cutting the pieces and then I wanted to make uh, finger joints at each corner. The finger joints are fairly strong because I can put glue in multiple spots and they overlap there. 
so I cut those finger joints with the hot knife. And so they were a little uneven and not as perfect I would have liked, but I did get them cut, got everything kind of interlacing. And then I tentatively put them together and put a piece of wood over the top of it so that I could sit on it and make sure it was going to be strong enough to hold my weight. And it did great with that. I had no problem having my weight supported when I sat on it. So since I was convinced that it was going to be strong enough to hold my weight, then I was able to go out to the truck and get some of the shaping done. So really just stenciling and grabbing edges. You can see in the current project here that I've got the spaces for the mounting clamps cut out. This is where the little metal ring for the tie down straps goes into it. You've got the shape of the wheel well there kind of shaved out and around. And then here we also have a uh, space so it recesses underneath that lip and the back of the truck. So after we had done some measuring and needed to do a little bit more cutting, this time we did go ahead and try using both a utility knife and then a jigsaw to cut the foam. And the utility knife worked pretty well. Um, I'm probably about equal to the like hot knife. The jigsaw actually worked pretty great. So it did create a little bit of um, like shavings of foam, but not as bad as the table saw. And you could get like those more intricate edges and it was more even than I was getting with the hot knife. Again, feel free to comment below if you use a very different type of hot knife and it worked well for you. Um, but for me, I, I like that jigsaw. We cut the wood edges that we have glued around the top here. And again, I just used wood on the top because I'm gonna make a lid that lifts up and it's just easier to screw into the wood than it is the foam. So then I can, can screw kind of a hinge instead of just having it glued there. Um, and that's just a personal preference. You could continue with foam if you wanted to. Once I was convinced that everything was doing pretty well fitting right, then I went ahead and glued the finger joints with tight bond two glue. Now, again, because I'd used that hot knife and things weren't very even, I did also have to go ahead and patch some of the holes. We patched the holes with a great stuff spray foam. And so that foamed out and then cut off the edges of that. First cut it with just a, a knife and then used an oscillating multi-tool, which actually worked really well for a bunch of this project. And then finally sanded it down so it was nice and smooth, put a little bit of wood filler on to make it even smoother, and then sanded that down as well to try to get a decent finished edge. I will be covering this in paneling and contact paper, but I wanted you guys to be able to see it before I do that. So that's why I'm making this video here before I have this completely finalized, just so you can see the foam. Then I also had to do a little bit of straightening of the edges. So we did a, a few more cuts again with that oscillating multi-tool worked great. And the bottom actually needed a little bit foam added back onto it because it was balancing a little bit wrong in the truck when we went and did the test fit. And so put a little bit of strip of foam on the corner that was a little bit low and then sanded that so that it was level and smooth. And then a few test fits later, there was a lot of just making sure everything fit and had to hollow out a few areas, make the mounting clap areas a little bit bigger. But we finally got it to a point where you can just slide it in. Um, so you have to put it back and then slide it over because it has to go under that lip that I have in the back and then everything slides in and it's nice and secure and is fitting well. I did end up gluing some pillar supports in here in this area to support this part of the frame because the, let me turn it around, um, because the back wall fits underneath the support. So that's not going to be able to support part of the lid that I'm going to sit on. So there's little pillars that we put in there to put this on. And I mean, I can put a fair amount of weight on this. So it's nice and sturdy. Obviously, you saw me sitting on it when I was in the truck camper, so it can support my full weight. When it's out of the truck, it's a little bit hard to sit on it because this back is supported by the wheel well, right? So not fully supported out of the truck, but supported in the truck. And like I said, the next steps for this is just to get it a little more polished. So we'll get the lid on and then also get some paneling on the outside, contact paper on the inside and make sure that it looks nice and finished. So I'll show you how it looks finished in the next interior build video where I'm gonna mainly be talking about the flooring system that we're gonna put in there. But I just wanted to get started and, and talk a little bit about the foam. And so overall, my thoughts on foam furniture so far, really lightweight. The foam's very easy to cut. It's just a matter of finding the right tool to get straighter cuts and make it easier for you. But it's also really easy to shape around things. So you can see like here on this side, it's curved a little bit, um, but can make lots of little minute adjustments. And I mean, I can even shave things off with a utility knife while I'm in the truck. So that was nice and convenient. And so far it seems like it's gonna be sturdy enough to hold up, support all my weight, do all of that while still keeping this so light. In fact, let's take a look at how light it is right now. We'll just hook this around here. 
So currently that bench was weighing in at 2.8 pounds. So not too bad for a whole bench system. So I'm looking forward to getting the interior build finished out. Thanks again for tuning in. If you have any questions or suggestions, comments, things you want to talk about below, um, shoot me a message. But again, thanks for your support.